Mythic Tyrant's Mythic Playthrough, Only Sword Base Part 1. So what's up, guys? Let's jump right into Only Sword Base here. Mythic again. And to be honest, I haven't uploaded any of this stuff yet. Um, this should be fun. <laughs> I just started down re re-downloading. I, I was sure I had a couple of them, but apparently I don't. I don't know anymore. Um, but this is the second level of Reach, and it's not a very fun one. I really, to be honest, this is probably the hardest level for me um, on Legendary. But to be fair, that was because when I did this level on Legendary, I wasn't very, you know, attuned, I guess. I don't know, I wasn't as good. When I started doing my Legendary run, I was, you know, watching Mythic Tyrant's Legendary playthrough on his YouTube channel. I was, you know, following everything he did. Like, I seriously watched a couple minutes of his, then did that couple minutes worth of stuff, then watched more of his. It's, just kept going back and forth. It was very easy. But for anyone who is just joining us, well, go watch uh, Winter Contingency. It's on my channel. So this should be the videos before this one. It should be. I'm not sure if it will be. Um... This is basically, for those of you who don't want to watch that, if you're just here for this, well, you really should be uh, watching a different video or something. This is Mythic Difficulty, Legendary with all schools on. I really don't want to say this for every freaking video I do for this, so if anything, I'll just put in the description or something. I don't know. Um, but this is the beginning part. Personally, I think this is probably the hardest part because you have to deal with all these damned elites with nothing more than your DMR. Which normally isn't too bad, but this is mythic difficulty, so it's a little bit harder. Um, later on, I'm pretty sure he, this is the run that he will be getting the Wraith, and he'll just be using that for most of it. And I'd have to say, probably the beginning and the end are the hardest. Um, I mean, I, I screwed up on my legendary one. I didn't get the Wraith. I, uh, let's just say it didn't work out very well. <laughs> it's a very hard run. But here, we're trying to stay... He's trying to stay... Uh, trying to stay back again if you're playing on mythic oh you know watch these videos they will be helpful it's this is probably like the only level that I can think of that he actually stays back like this though most levels it's kind of a find the easiest way around and use it um, so I know some guy in, in the topic that, well in the link there's a topic um, not sure if it's the last page anymore. It's probably been multiple more pages, but some guys like oh, you know, some guy posts in. He's like, "Oh, I figure Mythic difficulty is a lot like Legendary. You just gotta take your time." And my first thought was, "Really?" Because it's like uh, at this point, Tyrant had like all but a couple levels done, and I had watched them all. I'm like, "Really?" Because uh, I'm like watching Tyrant's videos here. It doesn't seem like he takes his time. It seems like he finds the quickest way around. I mean, that's all there is to it. Is find the quickest way around. And I mean, you know, like, if there's a if there's something you can use, like a any sort of glitch or you know the easiest thing you can do, now if, like you can find if you can like if you can find a wraith and just you know use that to destroy everything, use it. I mean, use it at all costs. You know, don't sit there and take your time. I mean, at this point, I would say yes because again, Mythic makes this much harder and he doesn't really have much to work with. Um, by the way, I've tried this technique, this whole just shooting him with. A bolt ever bolt after bolt instead of overcharging it, and it just doesn't work for me. I don't know. They tend to dodge it like crazy. But hey, I'm not. I am not cut out for mythic difficulty. I am not. Legendary was hard enough, and now first rule of this game: use uh, your AI teammates as the biggest distraction you could ever think of. Anyway, yeah, I am not cut out for mythic. Uh, most people, I really don't think most people are. I mean, so many people are like, oh, well, yeah, Legendary Difficulty was so easy. If you think that was easy, then go try Mythic, and then come back. Because, I mean, I've seen Mythic, and the funny thing is, you can actually do, you can do co-op on this. It's just, uh, if you, so, solo Mythic is, if you die at all, then you re you have, you're forced to restart the mission because of, I'm not sure which skull it is. Um, but with co-op, it takes your last checkpoint, but if you play co-op, you have to restart if anyone dies. Um... It's just how it works. So, I mean, you could go with co-op, but I think, wouldn't co-op be harder? I don't know. 
I mean, I, me personally, I'd rather do solo over co-op because with a co-op, you have to. You're, I'd be constantly worrying about everyone else. If anyone was pushing up too much, I'd be like, back off, <laughs> and then they die, and I'd be like, oh great, now we gotta restart the fucking level. It's the kind of thing where you don't want you don't want teammates because it, you, if you get to the end of the level, me, I'd be stressing out. I'd be like, you know, we're okay, guys. We spent two hours on this level. And if any of us die, we have to restart. Let's try not to die, and then boom, somebody dies. That's how it always works. But that's just me. As, as you can see, turn still just hanging back. Hanging back as much as possible at this point. <clears throat> I really should look through his all oh, the levels, and I should have done this in the Oh, fuck, I keep forgetting that I gotta check the skulls, too. I'll do that after this recording. Because <laughs> uh, I've got the. Uh, was it the package? I've already got that recording done by the time I did this. Now, at the time I'm doing this recording right now, I've already got um, the first level and the eighth level done. I think it's the eighth level. And I was supposed to check at the end of what of the recording of. Uh, I was like halfway done with the eighth level recording. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go check the skulls real quick. I absolutely forgot, so I'll check it at the end of this one. This one's still got a while though, so I got plenty of time to remember. All right, so we're we're getting up to the awesome. Uh, was it target locator? Ah, I think he uses this to destroy one, and then he takes the other. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he does. Um, oh, and by the way, that door back there. Uh, I wonder if that's what he's doing right now. The door behind you, it only closes if you go up a certain if you go up a certain ways. I think if you go up to the rocks, I'm not sure. Um, but there's a certain amount of ways you can go before the door closes. As you can see it's not closed right now, which is really nice. I didn't know that. And uh, on my legendary playthrough, I thought I figured that out myself. I was so happy. So I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm like, because I don't, I didn't remember the doors ever closing on me. But after you go a certain ways, it will close on you. I think it's like just the amount of ways that you can't run back to it. It's kind of frustrating, but I think it's already closing right now. I, mean, I don't know. He's not looking back, so I can't tell. Yep, come to the. A lead in two grunts, I think, or two or three. I'm not sure. And again, I'm not sure if he's taking out either of the wraiths yet. Got cat over there making a nice distraction. I think it's cat anyway, or maybe it's just a marine. Um, yeah, I think he's already taken out one of them. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking about that door, my awesome discovery. Like I said, man, it feels good when you when you think you've made a discovery, um, and you'll feel good, especially when you find out that someone already else has made it. So you're, you're not the first one, man. You know it's actually a real discovery for yourself. <laughs> Love this Lee. He's like, oh fuck, I'm screwed. It's like you can you can just hop out. <laughs> He's dedicated to that position. Though. Look at him, man. He's like, I'm not moving this spot. This is my spot. Oh no, no, you're dead. I want to just get in it. Yep. And we actually found out that the wraith in uh the wraith on the package that he hijacks is like the <laughs> that he hijacks like this, it doesn't work like a regular wraith. Because he get he got in the gunner on that one and um then the elite didn't pop out, which is kinda of interesting, but Alright, then hop off. Almost. Almost. There you go. Oh, come on, come on, don't let him boost into you. That's what he's gonna do. There you go. See, man, I get the bad luck, man. That guy would have either shot me already, or he would have just, like, backed up and boosted into me. So, one thing I don't like is, you know, I, like, I was watching, I was watching his, all his legendary stuff. I was just following him, you know, I was just following him the whole way. And, like, a tip of the spear, that was the most aggravating one. So, I, I watched him, he goes up and destroys a ghost, and then he goes back and destroys a tyrant gun. And then he goes back, and there's no wraith or anything. But when I went back, there's a fucking wraith there and everything. I was like, what the hell is this? It was frustrating. I was like, oh my god, there's a wraith. It took a while to get past it, too. Okay, to be fair, I got past it in the second try, but... First try, I didn't see it coming. At first try, I thought I could just drive up and wait for the bridge. It didn't work out that way. But anyway, let's get back into this level. Since we're nearing the last four-ish minutes or so. So, now he has a Wraith. This will make this level quite a bit easier, actually. The Wraith is very durable. And, uh, the, I think the guy that I was following for this part, they jacked the ghost. Yeah, next-gen walkthroughs. Ugh. And the only, ugh, 
part is this part because he drives the warthog up and then they edit it out to the point where he's already in a ghost. They don't even show how he got the ghost. And it took me a while to get that ghost. I didn't even get in pristine condition like he did. He's kind of pissed. But here we're just going to destroy the ghost. Because it's in the way and we have a wraith. If you can get the wraith, I say jack the wraith and use it. It's, it makes this level much more tolerable. And it's really just the end that I don't like. Uh, I think it's the climbing through sword base itself. It's very frustrating. Or it was for me, anyway. And if you're playing Mythic, it'll probably be frustrating for you, too. And again, at this point, just kind of, yep, launch it across. And have some fun with them. And again, here's another part of this level that I hated because that stupid elite at the top. I killed everything at the bottom, and then I had run to the top, and the elite was there waiting for me and kicked me in the face. He wasn't very happy. I killed all his brethren. But with the Wraith, it should be very easy. Just fire away. I think the only problem here is uh, you have to actually go to the roof there and you have to hit the switch. The only problem is sometimes, uh, sometimes an elite might stop by and try and take your Wraith back. Um, I've had that happen with my ghost multiple times, so I had to drive up even further. I'm like, okay, take my right or you're taking my ghost too many times. So watch out for that. He's just gonna kill the. I'm not sure if he kills the guy from a, from far. If he actually goes out there and finishes him off. But if you do get the wraith or ghost, um, I highly recommend staying back and just shooting at them like this. Yeah, if you keep the warthog, you're gonna have a problem doing this because uh, usually a marine or a cat will try and drive you away if you use the gunner and we don't want cat driving we know how that works out we all know how cat drives damn woman drivers now he's driving off cliffs I don't know, first time I saw her uh, the first time she drove me off a cliff I just looked down and thought there's no kitchen down there I was kind of pissed she's, she, she's driven me off a cliff multiple times it is not fun I'm telling you not like cat drive I'm not sure if she can drive the Wraith. She's never tried with me. I've jacked the Wraith once and she never tried to hop in. I, so I hopped out to get the thing up there and she never hopped in. Or she doesn't hop in the um, the driver's seat. I think she'll hop in the gunner if you give her a chance to. And she's not too bad on that thing, so I'd say let her try. But we are nearing the end of this video while it's ranting on about cats, so. Almost there. This is the only. That once this is. Levels like 50 minutes, 50 ish minutes, somewhere around there. So this will be a four parter. Sounds about right if I do around 14 or 15 minutes. I'm not gonna do 15 minutes every video. I'd rather not. They're big games right there. And I will try my best to uh, upload an entire level each day instead of doing like half of Oni Sword Base today and then half tomorrow. Even though I'm saying this days ahead of time, but. Last 10 seconds or so, so I will see you guys in part 2.